As life is possible only with heartbeats and breathing, modern constructions rely greatly on mechanical and electrical. In a building, the blood circulation and respiration are electricity, plumbing, air conditioning, lighting fitting and extra low voltage systems. Today, m and &E is a true field of innovation. We at BuyMe make mechanical and electrical services central to every project. M&E and structural works are designed and built together in harmony. This synchronization allows us to create state-of-the-art, cost-effective, energy-efficient and innovative fast-track complex and aesthetic projects. When it came to build Singapore's sports hub, we pushed the limits of M&E integration to the superstructure in order to create this unprecedented arena. A high-end 55,000-seat stadium meeting the latest requirements of comfort, capacity and environment. Usually, air circuits are integrated in the second stage of the building process. Here in Singapore, they were incorporated from the very start, as an integrated part of the original design. Let me show you how we made things cooler. The whole stadium is equipped with a state-of-the-art bowl cooling technology. The bowl cooling is a system that creates and distributes cool air all around the stadium. This is a unique solution invented by our engineers to deal with the tropical, hot and humid climate of Singapore. How does this work? At the heart of the system, four large chiller plant rooms located under the arena produce very chilled water. They work like gigantic refrigerators with a heat exchanging system to bring the water temperature down to 8 degrees Celsius. A closed water circuit takes this water to 116 air handling units spread all over the tiers. Inside these units, the water will cool an airflow, like a car radiator. So 23 degree freshened air gently flows through a slot beneath each one of the 55,000 seats. Actually, only the atmosphere in the area we are sitting in is tempered by the bowl cooling, not the other empty bleachers. Each of the 116 air handling units can be activated separately in order to feed only the bleachers with spectators. So instead of air conditioning the entire bowl, we focus only on targeted stretches. It is the digital ticketing software that dispatches the bowl cooling on the occupied areas and thereby save energy. Cool, isn't it? Last but not least, for the largest events, like a 10-hour cricket game with 55,000 cheering fans in the bleachers, which occurs only three to four times a year, we've created an environment-friendly extra cooling system. The solution happens to be a very simple and efficient idea. It's the ice storage technology. You know the plastic ice cubes we use during the summer to freshen our drinks of lemonade? Well, the idea is the same, except on a much, much larger scale. Large tanks which contain 1.2 million ice balls full of cooling liquid are located all around the stadium under the tiers. The night before the huge events, we freeze these ice balls in order to obtain 2,000 cubic meters of ice. In the morning, we turn on the bowl cooling system to full power and overcool the refrigerating water by passing it through the ice balls. With great performance, Ice storage delivers 100 megawatts of cold without using extra chillers. And the ice loses only one hourly percent of its cold. And because sustainability has always been a priority for us, 4,000 square meters of solar panels balance the bowl cooling's power consumption by generating yearly the exact same amount of power. The stadium is therefore carbon neutral. Cool, isn't it? With an average temperature of 32 degrees outside, the spectators will appreciate the difference comfortably sitting in tempered tiers. At the end of the game, the only ones who've spent all their energy and feel overheated are the performers. Huh?